Hey everybody, this is Dale and Shirley Guiducci, Lifestyle Over 50. We are here at Lake Griffin State Park in Fruitland. Fruitland. Fruitland Park, Florida. Fruitland Park, Florida. Uh, and we, uh, this is our first camping adventure. We talked about in a recent blog post, our brand new pop-up camp, cam, camper, which you can't see behind the camera. Um, but we, we it, it's new for us, so we took it on its first adventure. We did. This weekend uh, here at uh, Lake Griffin State Park. And it's, it's, a, it's been great so far, hasn't it? It's been awesome. Um, yeah, and you'll see some pictures of the camper in the article um, for sure. And what a great experience. Like, Dale and I uh, work really hard and we have a hard time when we're home actually relaxing unless we physically leave the house. So camping is such a great way to unplug, to get away, to enjoy nature and just really chill. Like yesterday, it was kind of crazy. Like at nine o'clock in the morning, I'm like, wow, I felt like it was one o'clock and it was 9 a.m. So it's like your day goes slow. It's been a really cool place to camp. It's very small here. It is. There's only 40 sites, which, you know, has its positive. And I, I wouldn't really say negative, but there's not a lot of activities inside the campgrounds. No, that's true. So what you get here, though, is you get... Um, not a lot of traffic, although someone just drove past, as I was saying. That was that. the camp host. That was the camp host in his little golf cart, right? So that's cool. So, I mean, the fact is he knows who we are. We know who he is, and he keeps tabs on everything. So we felt pretty secure. Um, so, yeah, there's that aspect of it. I think that but in a bigger park, you're going to get more activities. Now, they do have kayaking here on the river. There's right. the, the Dead River, which actually flows out into... Uh, Lake Griffin. Mm -hmm. uh, the people, a lot of people do do kayaking and canoeing. Um, it, we chose not to. to want to want to explain why? Because of me. <laughs> <laughs> so one, we bought um, inflatable kayaks. Um, so the choice to bring them was no, because when you do read on the website for uh, Lake Griffin State Park. It's a high volume of alligators. So inflatables was not my comfort level. And then we walked down because you can get right to the river and there's a park and it's actually beautiful. But when I look at it, like in Florida has tons of, when you got the intercoastal, you know, for stuff like that, but you have uh, a lot of springs, you know, spring fed rivers that are really, really clear. So this is very black, um, black, a lot of lilies, the trees. And I'm like, yeah, high volume alligators. I I'm good. Can't see in yeah, the water. Can't see in the I water mean, you can't, so. It's not that you can't see down, you know, at the, you can't see that far down. Right. I mean, it's black water, but, and you'll see some pictures in the blog post in which we're going to put this video. So you can just probably scroll down and you'll see them. Uh, but yeah, and I was like, I could go either way with it, but I went, hey, if you don't want to go, you, you know, if you're not comfortable, we're not going to go. But people do kayak here. But other than that, you know, and there's some, there's a couple of hiking trails that we took. Correct. I would say in total, there's maybe three to five miles, maybe three, maybe. three miles. And I forget five, maybe about three miles worth of hiking trails around. So not a ton to do, but that's, I think, perfect for us, especially our first experience because our whole thing was getting it set up and making sure you had all the little widgets okay. and gadgets and this and that and the other and and just enjoying hanging out and you're right it does make for me personally it does make me just sit here and 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 enjoy the trees and what's around me because normally i'm like i gotta have something to do so this was this is great you know this is awesome so we've enjoyed it for sure yeah, and, and you get reminded if you've never, well, if you've camped before or never camped, sorry, there was a fly <laughs> buzzing around. Where are those? Um, but there's such a community inside a campground. Like everybody is supportive, helpful, respectful. So it's been really cool. And then we experienced, sorry for the fly, um, it's a horse fly, so it's really large. And uh, then we experienced the camp host had to drive around. This is based on where we are, this particular park, and warn us that um, a bear was in the campground. So you just got to be smart to, you know, pay attention to that stuff. And it's just a put your food away kind of thing. And it, it was all good. So we got a camper 
cruising on by we're right on the edge of the road here so but really cool place i definitely recommend it um for sure and then you know you could venture out there's tons of lakes which we, you found if you look at the map there's plenty of areas to boat so if yeah, you have if you've a little got, boating if you got a boat that this is definitely an area because you've got not only uh lake griffin right but we experienced uh tavares yeah right which they have and i forget the name of the lake there but if you look on the map you'll see it but it's touted as the uh, capital of of uh, oh the seaplanes seaplanes yeah seaplane capital so they fly you know they got a lot of planes that land in the in the lake and take people around and guided tours and that right and then we went over to mount dora which has lake dora right and they do a lot of the same thing so there's a ton of boating in this area for sure uh that's definitely something to do but mount dora is a cute cute town isn't it oh big time so you have to have to go like uh, there's a friend of ours who said oh my god if you're camping you know this close to mount dora you have to go check out it's the cutest town ever and you know what he was so right. Like, I absolutely loved it. The people are friendly. You're right there on the water. We saw this incredible inn. And again, we'll talk more about it in the blog and show some pictures. But what a great town. So a nice little getaway. Mm -hmm. Got away from the heat because we decided our first camping trip was going to be the hottest weekend in Florida that will probably happen this summer. Record setting. <laughs> and we don't have a lot of shade uh, at our site, but it's still awesome. So... Definitely recommend yep. Lake Griffin what, State Park. Yep. So we've had a good time. We're going to keep coming back to you with Florida road trips. Florida road trips. What a great place to take, uh, you know, weekend, you know, day trips, but certainly weekend trips. And, you know, we, we discovered this weekend that, you know, we came up for two days, right? We Friday and Saturday night. But you said, hey, hon, what if, what if we what if we just stayed an extra night? So we did. We booked an extra night. We're staying tonight, which is Sunday and leaving Monday because that just gave us that much more more time. So Florida road trips, we're going to be writing about a lot. We'll be going back up to Mount Dora and uh, stay tuned for all that. So glad you're with us and uh, we'll see you soon. Bye, guys.